If you drive through Congress Park, you'll likely notice all the Denver water trucks and equipment. But this is routine work on the water main. It's not replacing the underground lead pipes that exist here and in a lot of Denver. So Denver Water estimates that there's approximately 64,000 to 84,000 uh, lead service lines in our service area. And those are the lines that connect the home's plumbing to our, uh, our lines in the street. Denver Water is spending roughly $500 million in a planned out mega project to replace all of them. That includes hundreds of thousands of dollars on water pitchers and filters they've been giving out to residents around Denver. We're trying to provide um, customers with a safe and reliable way to drink water until we know for sure if those homes have lead service lines or not. The next step would be to dig those lead pipes up and replace them, but... Due to COVID-19, we have made some adjustments. We have developed work up until the point that we uh, have to shut off water. Meaning your front lawn won't be dug up, and if you have a lead line, it stays for now. What crews have been able to do while doing other maintenance work here on the street is mark 62 feet to a T of lead pipe that goes into this home. The problem is that section can't be replaced right now. Some lead pipes to empty buildings or in water emergencies are still being replaced. That's on a case by case basis. The timeline for this entire project yeah. is 15 years. The pandemic impact means right now focusing on those pitchers and prep work. Getting as much ready so that we, um, if, if allowed, we can do the work that needs to take place. If you want to find out if your home has a lead service line, denverwater.org slash lead has a searchable map by address. All the purple needs to be replaced. In Denver, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.